And welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday the 14th of uh, June 2016. Starting off in the five minute chart for yesterday, we see the market uh, moving high. They're attempting to get the market back up to the 17,900 level, but uh, this failed after we had the buy signal going through the 17,850 at uh, 25 minutes past three. The market just managing to clip the uh, scalp there and then the market uh, coming back and only managing to get uh, 13 points out of this trade as the market started to move back. I then uh, took a view and uh, had a look at the market. It certainly looked uh, weak. We've got uh, the short trade there and then uh, I sent an email out to say that uh, you may want to stand aside as uh, the market is likely to trade sideways and sure enough that's what uh, it did until we got into the evening session and then we had another trade there to the downside but uh, for me there was only the one trade yesterday and as I say I sent the email out expecting the market to move sideways and it's traded uh, to the downside there and this is obviously the market anticipating a I would say uh, a no from Yellen you may get a bit of a rally from it when uh, she decides not to raise rates but it's going to be very very short lived and I'll show you why in just a moment. In the daily chart we can see the market uh, moving lower and then starting to uh, move back to the upside and again in the volume this is greater on all of the down days than it is on the up days again indicating that there is selling around in the market at this time. News wise uh, we've got uh, the CPI and RPI from the UK today but uh, for the US, uh, only 130 news retail sales, both uh, core retail sales as well, both for high impact news items. And then uh, the market will be left to fend for itself. It is the day before Yellen will speak. And I think we could, uh, and it's also a Tuesday as well, which generally are uh, fairly sideways as well. So uh, we could have another afternoon of uh, just sideways trading as we had last Tuesday. And uh, finally, in the implied volatility, 15.30, this is uh, starting to get some momentum. This is spiked sharply during uh, uh, yesterday's uh, trading session. And uh, you're going to see this move very sharply from Thursday onwards if Yellen doesn't increase interest rates tomorrow. And even if she does, you're still going to see it because, uh, as we saw in December when she did, the market fell down 2,000 points. And the same is going to happen even if she doesn't raise rates, to be honest with you, because the credibility aspect now that central bankers have run out of ammunition of what it is they can do. They can still print more money and as uh, I saw yesterday an article that uh, the first 318 million of corporate debt, not bank debt, corporate debt, this is companies throughout Europe have uh, been uh, bought by the ECB as well. So uh, it just goes to show you how desperate these central banks are now to keep the illusion alive that everything is fine when it uh, actually isn't because uh, you can't keep monetizing this debt just to keep the illusion alive. It's just not possible. In a free market, companies go bust and that includes banks. The dead wood is taken out and then we start afresh. But now we have a centralized control in everything, including the stock markets as well. In and of course, they have a vested interest in keeping the illusion alive, in particular in the US, as they have an election year as well. So that's the uh, cheery stuff for today, but that's the reality of things. Uh, when you look under the uh, the, the lid uh, and take a closer look inside, which most people uh, don't want to. They want to just continue uh, in the illusion that everything is fine. But uh, in the background here, we've got uh, all sorts of... Uh, problems going on that are going to come fruition uh, shortly. Right, that's it uh, for today. I will see you in uh, tomorrow's unless uh, I drop a note later on this afternoon. But again, just to warn you that uh, Tuesdays can be fairly quiet and with it being the day before the Fed's decision on rates, prices could be uh, sideways. Right, so that's it uh, for me. See you tomorrow. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.